Hey, Jenny Lakenden here. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Notion. Now, Notion is a tool that I've been playing with for mm, about nine months now. <laughs> and I feel like I'm finally just kind of I'm getting to know it enough that I want to share it with you. Notion is sort of like it's sort of like a really versatile version of Evernote. So um, Notion does kind of compare itself to Evernote. It does sort of replace Evernote if you go all the way over to it. Um, no, uh, Notion actually has a, let me see if I can pull up this window here. It has a switch to switch from Evernote functionality. So it like will import all of your information for you. Super useful. Um, <clears throat> I haven't personally used that feature yet, but um, I have, I know people that have and have had a good experience with it. So I'm going to show you, like, you don't really care about Notion though. You just want to know how it can serve you in your coaching business. So I want to talk to you about how some use cases for Notion for your coaching business. One, um, but before I do that, I just want to point you to um, the Notion YouTube channel because Notion is a, it's so flexible that it can be kind of hard to figure out how to best use it when you're first starting out. So if you go to Notion's YouTube channel and you watch the first couple of videos that they have about what a page is and the database and content blocks, they're just a few minutes each. Um, you'll be in a much better place to actually go in and start playing with it yourself. So Notion use cases. Um, so one way that I use Notion for my business and that works really well for coaching too is um, consult notes. So you'll see I have a page here in Notion, kind of like how you have um, notes in Evernote or notebooks in Evernote. Um, and you can embed page. One thing that's different from Evernote is that you can embed pages within pages in Notion. It's super useful. So here I have a, a page called consult notes. And within that page, I have a template that is a consult template. And when these are the questions that I always ask people when I got on a call with them. So um, when I have a new consult coming up, all I have to do is just right click and hit duplicate. And then I have copy of consult template and I can just open it up and I read the name this, you know, consult with Jane Doe. And then these are just some reminders to me to, you know, make sure I record the call and to tell them that I do have a call after that if I have one. And then I ask them these questions and I can just type in my notes here and then you know, hit enter, there'll be a new bullet point. Or if I need to add a bullet point, I just hit dash and space and it automatically fills in the bullet point for me. Um, and so yeah, that's how I use it is for consult notes. I also think that another great way that, um, another thing that sets Notion apart and a great way that you could use it for your coaching business is the ability to have databases of information. And databases sounds kind of, to me, it sounds kind of like a complicated word, but it's really not in Notion. So here I've set up this database called Coaching. And this, if I were to have um, an exclusively one-on-one -on -one coaching business, I would totally use a database like this to store all of the information about all of my clients. So um, for example, the, the purpose of a database is to give you convenient ways to store information and different views to view that information as. So each one of these um, rows is a client. So, or a, a pretend client, I should say. So Mark Jones, for example, if I click on him here, each database item has properties and you can customize these properties to be whatever you want. So for this client, I have a date, um, a date property and I set the date property to show me the length of our work together or the length of our program. So say this client started on May 11th and I can see that it was a three month program. So he ends on May or on August 11th. Super easy. If you have lots of clients, one-on-one -on -one clients, it can be kind of hard to keep track of, you know, who started when and ends when, but this just makes it super easy and clear. You could also upload a headshot file right here. Notion makes it super easy to add a file or an image. So here I just added their headshot. You know, if you have like 15 or 18 or even 20 clients and some of them are newer, it's just really nice to be able to easily see like, oh yeah, that's like that, that's, that's client's face to their, you know, match their face to their name. Um, and then program, you know, if you have different offers, like, um, you know, maybe a mastermind that's a group or a one-to-one, -one, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you do that. I actually think it's better if you kind of constrain to one type of offer. But if you have multiple, you could create a, prof a property that was um, 
an option, a, just a single selected option that I can't, you know, if I hit one-to-one -one and I go to mastermind, it's going to get rid of the one-to-one. -one. So it can only, it's a single selector. I've also created a multi-selector um, property here in Notion that's just tags. And this is, you know, in this case, it's just informing me kind of what that client came to me for coaching for. So as we know, in coaching, you coach on everything under the sun, but you know, just as a reminder, maybe this client came to me for weight loss or maybe they came to me for weight loss and business. So I can have both of those things here. That's what sets it apart from the single selectors, these tags, you can have multiple. So that's just, those are just some properties that I came up with of, you know, what I think that a coach would really want to know about their client. You could add more, um, add more properties to this. You could have it be a text field or you could choose a number or a date, a different date, or, um, you know, maybe a checkbox or a, a URL. If you want to link to say like that client, you're working with business clients and you want to link to their website, you could have a URL property, so many different things you could do. I'm going to right click and delete that though, since I don't need that empty property. And then inside each client's um, page in this database, each client item, you can um, add more pages of that will help you to store the information about the client. So say we wanna have onboarding information stored here for that client. We wanna have their, uh, say you'd collect an intake questionnaire for each client. Click on that and see, all right, these are the questions, these are the responses that the client gave in their intake questionnaire. Or this is the same page just viewed as, um, as a page instead of as like a pop-up box like we saw earlier. And you can click open as page at any time in Notion to just make that view appear. Um, you can move those consult notes when a client um, signs on with you. You can move the consult notes page that, that's in this workspace into, um, into the uh, new database item you create for this client. So these consult notes would have been moved over from that workspace. You could also, you know, some of my clients, I know my coaches, they do like a post consult evaluation for themselves. And so you could even put that here. Um, and then this is a great way to store session notes. So I've actually created a session template. Um, so I would put at the top, maybe like the topic for the session, work through or list any models that we worked through. Um, and then any homework that the client and I talked about at the end of the session. You could also list here any email coaching that you do between this section and the next one. Um, if you wanted to copy and paste from your email service, you could do that, or um, you could screenshot and just upload the image here. It's super easy to do that with Notion. Let me show you an example of one that I had screenshotted. Um, oh, it's under the session one. Yeah. Okay. So that's like a session template that I created. And every time I have, a, I had a session, I have a theoretical session with a client, I could right click and just click duplicate. And then it would create a new um, a new page for me to name, you know, say session two or session three for whatever sessions are coming up. And then in this session one, this is just to show you an example of what a first session might look like. So I would fill in my model here. Um, and then this is to show you, I know some of my clients take, um, my coaches take notes on like a whiteboard for their clients. And so they take a picture and they upload it to um, their computer. And this is just a really great way to store it. You can upload the picture right into this um, Notion page. Really easy way to keep things organized. And then, you know, say I wanted to send them the urge worksheet as a reminder to me for their homework. And then perhaps, you know, that week the client emails me asking for clarification on a model. And so, you know, I can just note here that's the result that we came up with. So that is, it's going to bother me if lorem is misspelled. <laughs> So those are some session note examples. And then I could even upload here. These are the resources that I've shared with the client so far. So I know I said in session one, I was going to share with them that urge worksheet. So I could email that to them and then just upload here like, hey, this is what I shared with them. Um, or any really any information that you want to list here about the client, you could, you could do that. So that's just an example of one way that um, you can store client information in Notion. Now, the really nice thing about this database is you can view it in multiple ways. So this is just a really simple list. And I, I have just the tags over here, or not the tags, the program types. Um, that's the program type property that I showed you. And then I can also view these as a calendar, though. So um, say you have you know, a bunch of different one-on-one -on -one clients and you don't really, it, it, it's really nice to have an easy way to see when certain ones end and when they start all together on one calendar. So 
you know, you'll see, oh, Mark Jones is continuing until, um, until August 11th. And it's just easy to see the overlap. It's really convenient. So that's a calendar view. I could also view this as a detailed list. So showing all of the properties or, you know, you can choose which properties you want to show. Like if I didn't, if I didn't want to see this one, I could just right click and hit hide. Um, I can also add new properties from this list view as well if I wanted to. So that's really convenient. And then you can also just view their headshots if you want to. Um, yeah, so this database functionality is what I love so much about Notion. <laughs> um, all right, so that's about keeping keeping client information organized. Now, another way that I use Notion is as a content calendar. So this is kind of messy. This is my like in in progress, in action content calendar. Um, but when I have an idea, um, like the other day I was talking about anti-follow-up on um, in my Slack community with all of my coaches and I got some comment, which is just a way of like following up after client, after like a client consult and before they sign on with you. And some people were like, oh, that's a really good idea. And so I was like, well, I should create some content around that obviously. So I just popped it real quick here into the idea column. And then once I start writing something about that or recording something about it or whatever, I can move it over here to in progress and I can open it and um, I can like put a title. I can um, I can specify what type of content it is, whether it's like an Instagram post or an Insta story or a newsletter or whatever. Um, and then once it's scheduled, my assistant will move it over to this um, column. And then once it's published or archived, we just move it over to that column. So it's just a really easy way to see like what's in the, what's in the docket, what's in progress, what have we already published. I really love this content calendar just as like kind of a dumping place for all of my ideas. Um, so that's another way to use Notion. I also love to use Notion for my to-do downloads. Um, this is like my weekly brain dump of everything that I need to do. And I've kind of mixed the to-do download with the Eisenhower matrix idea, which you, know, you can Google that. I got this for my client, Dave Moreno. Um, but really all it is, is just a way to sort of categorize, prioritize the to-do download lists uh, or um, items, to-do items. So like when I go and I look at this every Monday morning and I think, okay, rename website pages. Is that urgent? Do I need to do that today? Like, no, I just need to schedule that to do at some point in the week. Fix subscribers. Um, yeah, that's kind of more urgent. So I'm going to do that first thing on Monday. Reindex last pass folders. You know, I can probably delegate that to my assistant. <laughs> so I'm going to put that over here. Set up new bank accounts. I can schedule that. Record hit by a bus video. I can schedule that. That's like a estate planning thing. Share a sales funnel graphic. I want to do that first thing. And then submit updated LLC info to my bank. I can you know, just put that under schedule, call my lawyer about investment accounts. I can put that under to schedule. This just makes it really easy to see, okay, what do I need to do today? What do I need to schedule? What do I need to delegate? And then if something, do it doesn't make it onto these three lists, it probably means I just need to delete it. <laughs> it's not something that I'm going to do. Um, and so I can do that too. I love using my to-do download. I love using Notion for my to-do download because it just makes it really easy to prioritize. And, and throughout the week too, when something just comes to my mind, like, oh, I should do that random thing. Then I just stick it here in my like no status column. And then come Monday morning, I know I can just mess with it then. I don't have to think about it throughout the week. So that's what I love Notion for um, is consult notes. And I'm what I imagine you could use it for too. Organizing your client information and then um, keeping track of your to-do items as well as your content calendar. There are tons of other use cases for Notion. As you can see, I have like recipes and meal planning here. I have home decor organization that I'm doing with my interior design coach right now. There's so many different um, ways to use it. It's just a really great, useful tool. Okay, so if you're watching this video, you're probably um, looking for ways to organize your coaching business better. And I'm gonna throw a plug out to my client, um, Coach and Kim. So Kim Job and her husband, Scott, are um, systems coaches for coaches. And they are, Kim has worked, Kim and Scott have worked in business organization for a really long time. And so I definitely recommend you go check, check out their program, System Squared. I'll link it down in the description below. Um, it's a 12-week program where you get personal feedback from Kim and video content from Coach and Kim and brainstorming from your group 
to just really help to um, organize your coaching business so that you can spend more time doing what you love and less time tinkering around with tools and getting lost in the information. So I'll link that below. If this video was useful, definitely um, hit the subscribe button so that you can get future YouTube videos to up-level your coaching business.